Mac T back and we have a video this time on a review of the IATI. Yes, the IATI phone holder for your vehicle. Uh, I bought one of these before, it didn't quite fit, but I did buy the bigger version and we're going to review this and I'm going to use it today in my drive. But first we're going to unbox it, look at it, discuss it, and then of course I'll do the mounting and we will then test it out to see how it works on a 400 mile drive that I'm going to do today and then of course I'll go over how it worked at the end of the day and we'll see if it's worth the $25 that I spend on it. First thing first is we have to go ahead and cut this open here as you can see I have not even opened this box yet so this is our unboxing. What do we have in here? Looks like we have the uh, base plate here. It's in plastic. Ziploc bag. And uh, has a press button here that when you press your phone in. So uh, the re way it works is you push those tabs in like so and then when you go to push your phone on it you hit this and it locks in onto your phone and this of course is the rest it it does look to be you know substantial in you know how it's made uh, tabs are pretty thick as far as uh, there and they got a rubbery grab uh, grabby contact pad on each side as you can see there and it does grab pretty good uh, and then it has a base unit on here. You just unscrew this to insert the ball, and we'll go and check that out. This here is, of course, the pad. And what this is, is this here has a glue on it. Now, I'm going to tell you, folks, I'll cover that in a minute, but that is some sticky stuff. Uh, we have the ball on here that goes in to this section right here and you just merely push it in and then you tighten this up to make it firmer okay and you loosen it up to let it wiggle a little bit more and then of course loosen it up even more and then you can then pop it back out so that is how that works now going over this you can take and of course release this one right here unscrew that and that allows you to take and move this thing so if you want to take and mount it on your window, you can then adjust it so that it sits on the window. And then once you get it in position, you can then tighten it up and then it don't move. Okay, so you do have that adjustment. Now this screw right here, you just take and unturn that counterclockwise and then you can slide this part in and out and adjust it to however you want it for your extra length to reach out towards you on the window. And then you just tighten it back up and then it don't move anymore. So that is how this whole system is set up. And then you can then tighten everything back up. Now when you take and put this thing together, like I showed you, just do that. And then you got it mounted on your window. Okay. So you, you post it, you know, on your window somehow, however the direction is you want it so that it's flat on the window. Okay. Then once you get that adjustment done, you then tighten that up. Then you spin this around to however position you want it. Okay. And then you have this open. And it's a real simple thing, folks. Uh, problem I ran across, and I'll tell you all, uh, I had my phone. My phone has an otter box on it. And as you can see, it's rounded. Okay. It does have a rounded feature to it. So the back part of it is not flat. And that's where the first model failed because it could hardly grab. I mean, it literally just grabbed the edge just, just a little bit right down here. And I couldn't even get a really a bite on it to really feel that it was going to be stable. Now, if this phone was not in this case, it would hold this thing great because it's a flat back and no problem. But if you put a phone case on here like this Otter Box, that's going to add to the back dimension and then these tabs right here 
do not fit on there very well. They, there's not enough space on the other model that I had because the tabs here were shorter. So what I did is I bought this newer version for the S7. Now this is made for the S7 and, and the larger iPhone and everything else. So this is for the larger phones. I think this is the largest model they make so far for the bigger phones. So, and uh, I'm not even sure about what the uh, part number is on it as far as that goes, but it is made to fit different phones. So, uh, I'll cover that here if I can, uh, what it actually will fit. But uh, essentially, what we're going to do is you set it in here. Now, the reason it's so low is because remember, you have all your control buttons usually on the side. On each, and you don't want to have to have this part of it you know that wouldn't be any good it'd cover up the button so it is lower now what I found is you, you just take the phone and as you can see you set it on the base right here so you set it in okay and then all you do is you push now as you can see the tab does come out a little bit past the edge of the phone right here and then, of course, you know, depending how you seat it in is, is how it's going to actually uh, grab a hold. So uh, it's, it's in there pretty good. I mean, you're going to have to use some force to pull it out. Uh, you know, how it reacts uh, during large bumps and all this stuff is what I'm going to test on my drive to see how this phone holds. But essentially, this is how it's all going to be okay and then it's going to be on your window and then you can just mount it now let me review the sticky part now in order to release it it's supposed to be one touch so all you do is take and put both fingers right here on the tabs on the side and then just pop it open and you can pull your phone out and it's that simple so I'll demonstrate that when I do put it back put it into my vehicle uh, now we do have the tab at the bottom here that allows you to slide the bottom to adjust it. Okay, so you can adjust how deep the phone sets in here, however you want to have it. And in that case, uh, that way you don't get into those buttons. Say if the buttons are further down and you want it to ha be more stable, you can actually adjust this bottom one. To go in there now you, on mine you don't want to go too terribly deep because then it gets onto the button so let me see yeah you don't want to go too terribly deep so that's about as deep as I want to go on it right there and then of course I push on it and then of course it grabs a hold of it so just unsnap it slam her down in there and it grabs a hold of it and then it has your phone hooked onto it and of course you can see the buttons right there are not covered now this is the uh, dashboard pad and they say to take and you peel this covering off and it's really sticky it's a sticky sticky stuff now the problem that uh, I've been reading reviews on this and it stands to reason and this is why I would not use this on my dash is that you put that sticky side down you peel that off and then place it down on your dash folks okay and then of course you mount this thing on top of it like so well this has got a sticky pad on it too okay so while you're you know you're doing that this allows you to remove it but the thing is when you peel this up it is going to take a part of your dash with it the covering on your dash will peel up okay and damage it and that means the only way to repair it is to replace the entire dash. So, uh, you know, I would not use this, folks. I would not unless you don't care, okay? But it will pull the dash up when you peel it up. So uh, that's the one big major fault to this whole system is this pad and the stickiness that it goes to the dash. So it's, once you put it on, it's a permanent thing, folks. That's all I can say. Uh, so you do that at your own risk so I won't be using this uh, but you know that is what comes in the kit and then of course you got your directions and everything else that go with it 
and then has some facts and quick tips that are are on here with the card and everything else with it but uh, the directions are pretty you know straightforward and simple for that fact but this is what I'm going to use for my phone so uh, that's basically the review of it out of the box and we're gonna go ahead and install this and test it out and see how it works now the idea is to determine where I want to marry up this uh, IOTI uh, thinking basically right about here on the window next to my GPS so it's out of the way of the dash cam also and uh, might be reachable as far as that goes because if I put it up here then it will be in the way of the uh, dash cam so going to go up and uh, probably post it right over here of course I could go up over here but that's not a good spot either but a lot of things I got going on here so let's see where I get her mounted up and uh, of course set up and then uh, we'll go from there but that's about where I'm thinking I'm gonna mount this thing is right over here so let's see if we can't get her done So just peel that sticky stuff off of there. Then I'm going to try to sit, see if I can't mount it just a little bit higher. Just right up above here. And uh, get it on there. And then, of course, we just hit the button back to form the suction. And then I can take and get this all the way out get it adjusted to where i want it extend it out get it seated up about where i need it thinking that's it so that's where i got it mounted uh right directly in there i got a lot of stuff up here you see so you know who knows hopefully the state troopers don't get mad but that is how I got it all set up and of course I already previously adjusted the bottom parts so let's go ahead and put the phone in there we go now I got the phone and I can see the GPS yet even and then I can move this down further which is what I think I will do I think I will allow it to go down just a little bit and then oops looks like I popped it out got it down too low so that's the hazards I guess I got it too low so I'm gonna have to raise it up because it got too low there we go that's about as far as I'm going to be able to get it and doing what I have to do. So, a lot of uh, fine tuning here apparently. But, I think I got it. Well, that's how I got it, folks. Uh, might have to move it later. Don't know. I'm going to test it out here and uh, see what goes on with it but uh, for now I'm going to try it out in this uh, way because I do have my dash cam there too and I do have to get the chip back in it before I head out on the road but we'll test her out so far this IOTI is working pretty good got it all set up I can go ahead and I'll enter my code get my code entered so I can go ahead I can check my foreskin and uh, of course monitor that let that get uh, started up but I got my dash cam and everything else up here too as you can see driving now so uh, once the foreskin gets uh, reconnected again then of course I can hit the dashboard hit play and I can monitor uh, my foreskin while I'm driving so uh, so far I'm liking it I can see everything and of course uh, I got a little bit of a cluttered windshield 
but uh, with the dash cam, GPS, and of course my phone now, I think I'm about tapped out as far as uh, devices that I can do. But uh, yeah, I'm liking it. It is working, it's holding steady, it's not jiggling. So far, so good. In the end, uh, the One Touch 3 by IATI uh, worked. It worked for me. Uh, held the phone, did not fall out, not once in the 400 mile trip. Uh, matter of fact, never even looked like it wanted to fall out. So uh, it worked great. Held the phone, and I could see what I needed to see while I was driving. If somebody called, I could see the display a lot easier than looking down on my seat. So I could just glance and then keep, of course, my eyes on the road on that aspect because I have hands-free, of course, in the car. That worked, and, of course, I would say for, you know, for the most part, I like it. It works for me. Uh, you may have different views on how it works for you and where you want to put it. But where I put it and how I use it on the road for all my drives, it is going to be a great addition to my vehicle as far as holding it. And my wife gives it a thumbs up too. She does use it and does like it in her edge. So that being said, this is Mac T. And of course, if you like this uh, review, hit that thumbs up and like it. Okay, folks, those likes, does take a second to pound that little button there and say you like it. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. And, of course, by all means, join up on Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. And, of course, communicate directly with me, which is where I spend almost all my time that I will be on there and answer your questions along with our other administrators. But with that being said, that is it. My feet hit the floor today, and I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day. And, of course, we'll toss a couple one-liners, a little bit of music, and maybe some bonus footage at the end. Have a great day. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.